here we are. We're going to get started now. I mean, we've already got a good start. We tore up everything but the cut tiles. So we'll go through and uh, we number every single one of these. That way they all go back exactly the way it was. You see sometimes when these roofers do, uh, some of these other roofers, they do these valleys and uh, they don't go back together exactly the way they are and they look really bad. See, this one's pretty tight. It looks pretty nice. It did a pretty good job. So we'll number them all. Put them back exactly where they go. You see we're pretty prepared up here. We bring up a giant bag. Inside here is pretty much everything we need. We get our nails all set up, our recyclable trash bags. We got our tools in here. We got everything you need. Keeps us from double handling, going up and down the ladder all day. We basically come prepared to do work. Gets done. We do it a little quicker, which basically means we can do bigger areas for you. So I know she got another bid to do like a real tiny repair, like 50 square feet. It wasn't really too much cheaper than what we're doing, but you know we're doing. We're going to end up doing an area that's probably like three times what they said. We're really going to find the problem, and uh, we're going to put ice and water shield at the bottom. This is a high water traffic area. You can see all the water from this side. All the water from here, here, here is all ending up down there. It's probably wore out the paper. So we're going to fix that with the uh, ice and water shield at the very bottom. We're going to run it up the, the middle. We're going to tie in and weave the felt, pull out this piece of valley. We're not leaving anything. We're going to check the deck, repair the deck, pull out any dry rot, any mold damage, make sure she's okay, make sure she, she doesn't want to have any of that stuff in her house. Let's make sure this roof is not a problem. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get it all out. and. Uh, We'll show you, uh, how, show you how we do it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, you can see pretty much we, nothing but tile roofs. This is pretty, that's all we really do. Hundreds of these every year, and have been doing hundreds of these every year since uh, 1991. So this is just another one. We'll see you on the next one. So we're going to show you what it looks like underneath your roof. Now for the uh, for the guys that come out here, they'll tell you every now and then they do like this valley clean out because you can see there is a lot of dirt in here and they'll just take out the tiles uh, right in the valley and they clean out like the stuff like real local around here and then they mastic everything else. Um, it's just a bad idea. You know, that's never going to solve anything. You can see. Yeah, they got some. They got some problems. There's some major paper damage. I bet you right here this is probably worn completely through so their little clean out is not going to solve oh yeah look at that paper is just coming up bam right under the roof right there so yeah you don't want to have people screwing around with your valleys these are high water traffic areas they need to be done right so we're going to sweep all this stuff up we're going to bag it all up. We don't blow all the stuff all over the property like most people. We'll sweep everything up. We'll bag everything up. We have little recyclable bags that we use. So we don't throw away a bunch of landfill trash bags. Then we'll uh, remove the valley metal. We'll cut everything out. We'll check the entire deck all the way around here. Fix any, any problems with the deck. Remove any mold. Remove any dry rot. Renail it. Then do the ice and water shield. Put the valley metal, paper back, everything, put everything back to the way it was. This valley will never leak again. This area on her roof will be the last area on her whole entire roof to ever leak again. That's a promise. See you on the next one. So we're getting this area torn off. You can see he's removing it. And we're going to show you the, one of the number one reasons other than the fact that you actually find the leak well, you want to have all the stuff removed. I know a lot of roofers, they'll save money and they do those, uh, what they call like an overlay. So they tear up an area and they just put felt straight over it. It's a total band-aid and a complete waste of money and it will not last. But it's what we have here. Yeah, lift that up. Let's see what we got. Look what is hiding, lurking underneath your roof. Wow, that is nasty. Look at that. That is really, really bad. Wow. So that is what gets left underneath your roof really really soft wasted plywood so this piece has got to be removed it's one of the reasons why you want to have us out here remove all you do not want this stuff inside your house at all 
So we'll get it out, we'll replace it, we'll get it all up, and have it set. Uh, I'll show you the size of the area. Now you know the thing was done right. You know you're not left with mold damaged wood in your house. You know you're not going to have problems with allergies or people who are mold sensitive and allergy sensitive, which is a lot of people. Millions of people don't do well with that kind of mold damage any, just above their bedroom. You do want, want, want that stuff. And as of right now, we can even see ants and bugs are getting around there. That's a, that's a prime example for termites. So we're going to go grab a piece of sheet of plywood and uh, get this taken care of. That's it. Denise will not have this to worry about again. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Okay, so I just got back with the plywood. Brought the guys some waters, Gatorades. And I'm just going to show you just kind of how big of a job this is to fix these properly. Had a pretty good leak down here at the bottom. Got to get out this whole piece of valley. It was overlapped way a lot by this other piece of valley. She took out a little bit of that. You want to go around this pipe, this pipe right here properly. So we do want to cut around that. You can see nice, clean, square. That's how you can tell somebody knows what they're doing. The repair doesn't look like heck. It's nice, super well organized. Everything's stacked properly. Lines are straight, everything. You can tell somebody takes pride in what they're doing. Well, this is how these things last a really long time. So this is the piece of damage plywood that we took out. See the insulation looks really good. They're fine. We will clean out their gutter. That's our mess and we will make sure that's not there when we leave. I well, can see they look at they even had another problem all the way over here. And it's going all the way over there. Just coming down here, running along there. Blew out over this way. Real bad piece of plywood. So yeah, you can see this is not a small repair. This is not something you're going to get when these guys tell you we're going to do an overlay. It don't look like this. Now she knows for sure everything's going to get done perfectly. It's going to get warranted. If leak ever comes back anything in this area, it's covered pretty much for life. I've never turned down anybody who had us call back because of a leak. To be honest with you, we almost have zero callbacks. I wouldn't say zero, but it's not even 1%. So, gets done right, same way, every single time. So if you want this kind of work done on your house, take a lot of pride in your property, you don't want people screwing around on the roof, you want stuff done right, give us a call.